On behalf of the members of the Satya Drishti Spiritual and Sporting Group, I would like to welcome our Vyas, Pandit Balram Prasad and his family. Special welcome to our Bedi Pandit, Pandit Satya Maharaj. Also, a special welcome to all Brahmins and Sadhus that are present here tonight. And a heartfelt welcome to you, the devotees of Sri Ram, for being here tonight, the fifth night of our annual Yagna celebrations. I now invite you to sit back and focus on the teachings of the Ramayan. Sita Ram. You are Vani. Ramayan Arti, Sab Koi Khara Ho Jai. Please all stand for Ramayan Arti. <laughs>
चंद्र की जाए उमापति महादेव की जाए पवन सुत हनुमान की जाए उदयसा जगन्नाथ की जाए बोलो भाई सब संतन की जाए बोले श्री गुरु महाराज की जाए सत्य सनातन धर्म की आसन लीजिए बीसी तिवोती Once again, devotees, we have all assembled to engage meaningfully in devotion. There are two important objects I shall outline to you. One is called the dia, which we all know what the dia is about. The other is the mirror. If you were asked which would you like to be. a dia or a mirror then i guess the answer will vary the dia gives light the mirror reflects light if there is no light the mirror cannot reflect light so obviously it is better to be a giver of light than just a reflector of light So the dia is more important. Whatever gives light. In relation to us, each one of us, we are the atma, and the atma is the divine light within us. And so wherever we go, we should take that spark, that divinity, that light, and add more light around us. And if we do that, life will become so much more meaningful. So the sages are saying, "O oh man." be the giver of light and not just simply a reflector of light so now let us give our light to whom the supreme light bhagwan invocation prayer om tat sat he ram shri ram jai shri sita ram we join in prayer om ganganapatiye namah ओम श्री गुरु चरण कमल भियो नम ओम ऐ ऐ महा सरस्वत नम ओम बाम देवाय धीमह धियो नचोदयात ओम नम शिवाय 
ओम नमो नारायणाय नम ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नम ओम श्री सीतारामचंद्राय नम ओम राधा कृष्ण गोविंदाय नम ओम पवनाय पवन पुत्राय ह्रीं ह्रीं हनुमताय नम ओम पार ब्रह्म परम पिता परमेश्वराय जगदीश्वराय नमोस्तुते जय राम जय राम रामारम श्यामन भवतापयाकूल पाही जनम अवधेश सुरेश रमेश विभो शरणागत मंगत पाही प्रभो दशशीष विनाशन वेश भुजा कृतधूरी महामही भोरे रुजा रजने चर बृंद पतंग रहे शर पावक तेज प्रचंड दहे कही मंडप मंडन चारुतरम घृत शायक चापी निशंग वरम मद मोह मह ममता रजनी तम पुंज दिवाकर तेजयनी मन जात किरात निपात किए मृग लोग कुभोग शरे नहिए हति नाथ य नाथ नि पाही हरे विषया बन पामर भोली परे बहु रोग वियोग न लोग हये भव दंघ्रे निरादर के फल ये भव सिंधु अगाध परे न रे पद पंकज प्रेम न जे कर ते अति दीन मलिन दुखीन तही जिनके पद पंकज प्रीति नहीं अवलंब भवंत कथा जिन के प्रिय संत अनंत सदा तिन के नहीं रोग न रोशन मान मदा तिन के सम वैभव वावी पदा यही ते तव सेवक होत मुदा मुनि त्याग ही योग भरोस सदा करने मन निरंतर प्रेम लिए पद पंकज सेवत शुद्ध ही ये समान निरादर यादर ही सब संत सुखी विचरंत मही मुनि मानस पंकज भृंग भजे रघुबीर महा रन धीर यजे तव नाम जपामी नमामी हरि भव रोग महामद मान अरि गुणशील कृपा परमायतनम प्रणमामि निरंतर श्रीरमन रघुनंदन कंदन ध्वंद घन महिपाल विलोकीय दीन जनम बार बार बर मांग हो हर्षि देहु श्री रंग पर सरोज अनपायनी भक्ति सदा सत संग हे राम जी मैं बार बार यही वरदान मांगता हूँ कि आपके चरणार बिंदु के मेरी अटल भक्ति हो और सजनों का संग मुझे सदा प्राप्त रहे यही वह प्रसन्न होकर मुझे दीजिए प्रभु जी मुझे दीजिए ओम श्री सीता राम चंद्राय नम बोले श्री सीता राम चंद्र की आफ्टर दोज मोमेंट्स ऑफ साइलेंट प्रे मेडिटेशन नॉर्मली इन यज्ञ ऑन इट इज इन नाइट स्पेशल मैंशन इन मेरा भगवान शंकर अनेकीस इस गुरुवार अनिवोतीस इज ऑल्सो फॉर द वर्शिप ऑफ द गुरु
but we shall focus upon Jagat Guru Bhagwan Shiv. The bhajan very simple and straightforward, but very meaningful. Lord, you are the creator and the protector of this world. You are the board of happiness and peace. You are the ocean of love and the friend of the poor. You are the destroyer of all unhappiness and poverty. You are the eternal and most perfect Lord. You are the one without beginning or end. You are life's friend. You are the protector of the three worlds and the support of life. You are your protector of the devotees. Lord, we bow upon your feet and we seek your blessings, guidance, help and protection. Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya Om Namaha Shivaya He Jagatrata Vishwavedhata Bhola He Jagatrata Vishwavedhata He Sukha Shanti Niketanahe He Jagatrata Vishwavedhata He Jagatrata Vishwavedhata He Sukha Shanti Niketanahe Sukhashan Tiniketanahe Prema ke sindho दीन के बांधो प्रेम के सिंधो शंभो प्रेम के सिंधो दीन के बंधो दुख डरे विनाश नहीं दुख डरे विनाश नहीं हे जगत्राता विश्व विधाता भोला हे जगत्राता विश्व विधाता हे सुख शांति निकेत नहीं Nityaya khanda, Nityaya khanda, ya nanta ya nadi Nityaya khanda bhola, Nityaya khanda, ananta ya nadi Puran brahm sanatanahe पूरन ब्रह्म सनातन ही हे जगत्राता विश्व विधाता हे सुख शांति निकेतन ही प्राण सैखा प्रभु प्राण सैखा शंभु प्राण सैखा त्रिभुवन प्रतिपालक प्राण सैखा शिव 
प्राण सखा त्रिभुवन प्रतिपालक जीवन के अवलंबन हे जीवन के अवलंबन हे हे जगत्राता विश्व विधाता हे सुख शांति के तन हे हे सुख शांति के तन हे कीर्तनम हे शिव शंकर हे शिव शंकर हे शिव शंकर नमामि शंकर नमामि शंकर तो शिव शंकर शंभो बोलो शिव शंकर शंभो जय जय शिव शंकर शंभो हे शिव शंकर हे शिव शंकर नमामि शंकर नमामि शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो बोलो शिव हे गिरिजापति भवानी शंकर भवानी शंकर भवानी शंकर हे गिरिजा हे गिरिजा हे गिरिजापति भवानी शंकर भवानी शंकर भवानी शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शिव शंकर शंभो बोलो शिव शंकर शंभो हे शिव शंकर नमामि शंकर शिव शंकर शंभो शिव शंकर शंभो जय जय शिव शंकर शंभो हर शिव शंकर शशांक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो शशांक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हर शिव शंकर शशांक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हवा भयंकर गिरिजा शंकर धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो हवा भयंकर गिरिजा शंकर धीमे 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 तक हर शिव शंकर शशंक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हर शिव शंकर शशंक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हवा भयंकर गिरिजा शंकर धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो हवा भयंकर गिरिजा शंकर धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो हर शिव शंकर शशांक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हर शिव शंकर शशांक शेखर हर बम हर बम 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 बोलो हवा भयंकर गिरिजा शंकर धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो हवा भयंकर गिरिजा शंकर धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो धीमे 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 तक नर तन के लो नमामि शंकर हम सब है तिर ही किंकर रिधि सिद्धि के दाता हो भक्तजनों के तुम त्राता हो तुम ही हो अखिल विश्व के प्राण दिए है तुमने अमित वरदान मरण का बर करने हरो विश्व के तुम रखवारे हो देवता लीनो आप बचाए हला हलिनो कंट लगाए शराब भक्तन को प्यारे हो गंगा को मस्तक पर धारे हो 
आपो अजर अमर अविनाशी धरी त्रिशूल तुम पे काशी तुम्हारी महिमा को करे बखान परमानंद के तुम ही हो जीवन प्राण ओम नमामि शंकर ओम नमामि शंकर ओम नमामि शंकर बोले श्रोमापति महादेव की रामायण कथा कंटिन्यूज लंका कांड राम जी का विभीषण को ढैर देना devotee the dialogue between bhagwan shri ram and vibhishan on the battlefield and when i say battlefield you start thinking this is what life is all about facing up to challenges facing up to the all that confront us and how are we going to overcome it we're getting the chariot of victory that's the topic for tonight what do we need to do to remain victorious because our religion already says satya me jayate truth will always prevail so therefore we need to be truthful in thought word and deed and shiva ji satyam shivam sundaram our religion says satyam saucham daya dan these are the fundamental teachings and tenets and so the devotees if mahatma gandhi was asked you talking about god o oh, bapu ji have you seen god he said no i have never seen god but i know what truth is and i know what love is wonderful words in that so the devotees let us now hear what tulsi das is saying as bhagwan shri ram explains to bibhishan rat ka vijay the chariot of victory and we all know what a chariot looks like this chariot has two wheels four horses the flag the chariot the person who is being driven the harness the weapons of the warrior and you will see how they use this symbolism to bring out powerful philosophical lessons for you and i and so our katha commences both armies on the battlefield rearing to go arm to the teeth the sunk are being blown shouts of uh, victory being uttered on either side and devotees hear what happens chahu deshe jai jai kar kare nij nij jori jaan ho ram nij nij jori jaan धीरे वीर इतर भूपति ही उतरावन बखान सिया पति राम चंद्र जी की जय शरद दोनों ओर जय जय कार कहकर समस्त योद्धा अपने अपने जोरी से भिर गए तथा इधर राम और उधर रावण का यशोगान करने लगे the bears and monkeys who were devotees in that form and so whole story behind that i guess you know it devotees they are standing on the side of shri ram the side of righteousness and they are shouting loudly the name of shri ram on the other side the followers of ravan and they are saying bolo ravan ki and do say jai nobody we do so victory to wickedness and evil But we say bolo prabhu ram chandra ki thank you that's what we say so this is what is taking place in the battlefield and the devotees the brother of ravan bibhishan very observant he sees something and he's going to express it for the welfare of you and I, you and i ravan rathi birat rahu be रावण रथी तेरथ रघु बीरा देखी विभीषण भयो अधीरा राम भयो अधीरा अधिक प्रीति युर भा संदेह बंदी चरण कह सहित 
सनेह राम सहित सने जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम राम जय जय राम नाथन रथ नहीं तनु पद विधि जीत वरिपूपल वान राम रिपूपल वान सुन हु सखा कह कृपा निधान जही जय हो यु सुंदन आना राम स्वयंदन आना जय राम श्री राम की रथ रहित दिख विभीषण का धैर्य जाता रहा और प्रेम से अनेक हृदय में संध्या हो गया वह वे स्नेह से बोले कि हे नाथ हे रघुनाथ हे प्रभु आपके पास रथ जूते कवच आदि नहीं है फिर शत्रु पर विजय कैसे पाओगे प्रभु कैसे पाओगे फिर राम जी ने कहा कि हे मित्र विजय का रथ दूसरा ही है विजय का रथ दूसरा ही है मित्र ऑन द बैटल फिलीज सिंह जय रावण द डीमोन्स एंड द देव एंड द दिवोटीज सिंह जय श्री राम विभीषण नोटिस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन द श्री राम वॉज स्टैंडिंग बी एफ फुटेड ऑन द ग्राउंड ही ऑल इन हाइड बट इज बो हिज आर क्वेब ऑन इज बैक But his brother Rawan was in a chariot drawn by very powerful, swift horses. He was fully armed. Anything you could think about, he had it with him. And so Bibhishan came to the conclusion: this is disadvantage. Rawan will have the speed of mobility. He will be able to maneuver. He'll be able to fight the war to his advantage, while Sri Ram will be on the ground. At a disadvantage in comparison to the speed and the strength of those horses. Now he's saying this not that he does know who Sri Ram, but he's expressing his love for Sri Ram, care and concern. And so the devotees, Sri Ram understood where he was coming from, and immediately to allay his fears, God doesn't put us in fear. Throughout the year, I keep reminding you, God didn't punish anybody. I didn't put anybody in fear. And we put ourselves there. We cause that among ourselves. So we let, let us not do this anymore. If only we all have the opportunity, just as the sun shines upon all, the grace of God is upon all. He doesn't favor you more and favor me less, or vice versa. He says, "Think of me, serve me, honor me, worship me, bow down to me, and you, I, I shall be there for you." I shall be there for you. So the devotees, Bibhishan sees what he thinks is a disadvantage, and he expresses it. And Bhagwan Sri Ram understands, and he says, "My dear Mitra," he calls him Mitra, O friend. The chariot of victory is of a different type. You're looking at a physical chariot with horses and and arm arms and so on. And I'm barefooted on the ground, but the chariot of victory is of a different type. And let us listen now, devotees, to what is the chariot of victory. But let us just for, pause for a while and look at Bibhishan. At that critical moment when the battle is about to start, look at the kind of observation he has made. And Bibhishan is telling you and I that devotee, we need to be very observant. And now with this, all this crime and all these problems, if we are not 
observant and we just come out when we want, go as we want, whatever it is, we are setting up ourselves for a big fall, a dangerous fall, a serious fall. We need to be careful and mindful and watchful and observant about our surroundings, about those who have wronged us, and so many other things. I can't go into that. If you want to know about that, I'll have to do a whole lesson of program on crime. But you all know what I'm talking about. Baby Haitian saw that. And I am using this to remind each and every one, we must also be observant. Let me give you another example. If you're living in an upstairs house, and I come to your home, and they say, D-A-D-D-O, bhaiya. I say, have a nice house. I say, you walk up the step. And I'm sure you go to step, walk every day up and down. Can you tell me how many steps in this, day, this staircase? How many steps? How many? You just have to check one, two, three, four. You don't know. You're walking it, you're using it, but you don't know how many steps in that staircase. Isn't that so? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if I may put it another way, when I have some time and I'm talking to the children, I say, boy, you brush your teeth this morning? Yes, sir. So. I say, how many teeth you brush? Start checking. You don't know how many teeth you have. And then if you say it's 32, how you sure you have 32? Was anyone taken out? Or you have an extra rider? I don't know. So you understand what I'm saying? These little things, we ought to be aware of our own selves, our environment, and so much more. So Bibi Hishan gave us a little lesson. So now let's follow the advice of Sri Ram. He's going to say, what is the chariot of victory? The chariot we have to ride on to be successful in life. And devotees, Tulsi Das says, Shauraja Dheeraja Dheeratha Chaka Satya Shila Dridha Dhwaja Pataka Jai Ram Shri Ram Jai Jai Ram Ram Jai Pala Viveka Ram Bala Viveka Dama Parahe Ghore Chhamma Daya Samatarayu Jore Jaya Rama Shri Ram Shri Ram Jaya Ram Jaya Ram रथ के पही है सच और शीलता ध्वजा पताका है ज्ञान बल संयम परोकार ही घोरे है जो क्षमा दया रूपी रस्सी से जुड़े है सो नाउ ही गोज टू द टू व्हील्स विजुलाइज इट एंड ही सेज व्हाट डू द व्हील्स डू दे गिव मोशन मोबिलिटी they take it from point A to point B. So what is it that will take you from point A to point B, from a position of weakness to one of strength? What is it that will make you move forward in life? Two important considerations. Dhair, courage, and birta, manliness. This is not a word for cowards, because cowards die many times before the actual death. So the two wheels are 
the qualities of manliness and also courage. Let us just take courage. If we don't have courage in this world, devotees, then how could you exist? And courage goes with faith. And I use the example of the tree. A tree cannot grow without roots. Our effort will take us to the foot of the mountain, but our courage and our faith will make us climb it. So important is that. I know I'm just saying this, but you have to apply it to your own life because you will be confronted by situations where you have to show that inner resilience, that inner strength, that fortitude. And if you don't have that devotees, then you crack, crack up like cricks and you fall apart. Humpty Dumpty, you're coming back again. You have to bear these things in mind. But we don't have the time to always go into details. But use the intellect and the mind. And then turn it in the, in the processes of the thoughts and you will see the tremendous relevance of these points. Then every chariot has a flag. The national flag of a country identifies the aspirations of the people. The flags on the temple ground and in your home tells us what kind of pose you, you did and which data you love and you worship and what that data gives. That's why you continue to worship that data. Not so? So what is it that distinguishes your chariot as you move forward in the journey of life? Satya. Satya. Shilta. Dwaja pataka hai. Truth. Truth is what will take you forward, devotees. Truth is what will elevate you. Lies will make you fall into disgrace. I won't go into details. I want to make the chariot very compact so we can move on. And devotees, this sense of being mild-mannered, this sense of having good ways, let me explain this in another way. The recent re research is showing that when one has to go for a job interview, they look at the qualifications, the IQ. So people are being qualified and that's good because they're studying. But on the interview day, there is one particular person who's trained to ask certain questions to see what kind of person you are. They already know what you have. But who are you? What kind of person are you? And they ask questions to see if you have patience. If you have understanding, it's called EI, the level of your emotional intelligence. And that is where many are lacking. And when one doesn't get a job, they want to know why. Devotees, and in our relationships, if you don't have a high level emotional intelligence, we all get angry, we hate people, we can't stand this one, we can't do that one, bad talking, no respect. Who wants such a worker? Who wants such a person? So understand how these things can be taken into various aspects and translated and brought into relevance to our lives. So that's the flag. The flag says what kind of person you are. It tells about your personality. Devotees. Gyan bal sangyam hi gore hai. Now you have the four horses. You can have a wheel, you have no horse to pull it, going nowhere. You can have the flag, no horse to pull it, going nowhere. So we need the horses. And what are the four horses that will pull this chariot forward in life? What are the four horses that will take you forward in life? Gyan, wisdom or knowledge. Bal, strength, physical and otherwise. Sangyam, self control. And Parukar, the spirit of ceaseless, selfless, seva or service. And I'm glad yesterday I saw the papers. They will always say so, but you know here it takes so long to do something. Now they sing, the prison overfill. Now you're saying you're going to extend the bail and all sorts of things. We have no problem. You do what you're doing. But they're coming eventually to the conclusion, you know what? 
One of the best ways to help to rehabilitate these people is let them do seva, community service. When you put them by the, by the house and by the road and people see that, they might feel shame and they won't commit such crimes again. But it takes so long to understand that you need to be a rocket scientist to do that. Why? But then that's how we operate in this country. I'm not knocking my country. I'm a trinity, not to the bone. I'm a trinity to my heart. To my heart. So you understand what we're saying here, devotees? So Sangyam, Gyan, Bal, Parupkar, these are the four horses. Each one of us, we must always use whatever we have to help to make society a better one. In every society, we have the last, the lost, and the least. In every society, we have people who are engaging in very constructive work. Get yourself organized and involved. In every society, we have those who have retired. What are you doing in retirement? Shining your foot on your head with oil and rocking in the hammock? Do something to help others. Do, there are many organizations which are doing things. I'll give you some example. Go to a school. They'll be glad to have you if you're a retired teacher. You can read for the children. You can help them with homework. I've just given little examples. You can teach them R.I. Yes, and whatever we say to you is what we're doing, you know. But I'm not going to talk about myself now. You didn't call me to talk about myself. But I'm showing you how there's always something we can do, each one, every one of us. And don't wait to retire and then do something. Because when you do that, when you help others, you are helping yourself. When you hurt others, you're hurting yourself. And this is one of the horses that will bring change in your life. Ceaseless and selfless save our service for the community. Devotees. So I will not go into the other horses. Them horse ready to go. So we move on. So the horse now, if you don't have it harnessed, he will run. Why? So where the harness now? What is the harness? Chamadaya. As you help people, you have to have a kindness about you, a kind way. Kindness is important. And devotees, this again is a tremendous quality we need to inculcate in our lives. We can do things, but in a rough, short manner. We can do it because we are forced or bribed or, or beaten or we are afraid. Do it out of genuine love. Do it out of kindness for the person who, to whom you are extending that helping hand. And kindness is one of the qualities that shows the divinity in you. Kindness. So devotees, that is the harness. So you can have all the will to do seva. You can have all the strength in your arms and in your heart and your, in, your, in your belief. You can have all of this. You can have all the self-control. But if you're lacking that essential quality of kindness, and kindness is not weakness. Kindness is never weak. will never be weakness. It's only somebody who is strong to show kindness in the face of adversity. That despite all the taunts and all the negative criticism and condemnation, you are kind to yourself and kind to, to the cause, and you continue to do it. Continue to do it. Devotees, this is a powerful lesson what Sri Dharma is saying. Bibhishan, you're talking about chariot of victory, horse and, and weapon. Listen to the real chariot of victory. And devotees, he continues, and Bibhishan is listening. भजन सारथी सुजाना बिरती चर्म संतोष कृपान जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम दान पर शो बुधिशति प्रचंड बरते ज्ञान कठिन को दंड कठिन को दंड राम कठिन को दंड 
दान बर वे ज्ञान कठिन को दंडा जय राम श्री राम जय 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 राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जय राम श्री राम ईश्वर भजन की चतुर साठी है इसी तरह बैराग छल संतोषी तलवार दान फरसा बुद्धि प्रचंड शक्ति है और विज्ञान कठिन धनुष है इन ऑल कम टू द चारियत एंड द वेपन्स ऑन द चारियत ही हैज टू फाइट अ वो बैटल सो ही सेड द चारियत द मैन हु विल होल्ड द रेंज एंड एंड द हॉर्स एंड गी गी अप गो फॉरवर्ड the man who will do that what is it that will do that he says ishwar bhajan ki chatur sarthi hai and devotee really listen to this praising the lord singing bhajan engaging in musical pursuits those are the things that will take that chariot of victory forward i notice every pandit every scripture they always say they don't say talk by talk they say bhajan sing gaavo gaavo devotees let us do let us follow the instruction of shri ram and we'll continue as we sing we'll do a kirtanam ayodhya vasi ram 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 dasharath nandan ram he ayodhya vasi ram 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 dasharath nandan ram पतित पावन जानकी जीवन सीता मोहन राम हे पतित पावन जानकी जीवन सीता मोहन राम हे राम 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 बोलो राम 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 जय जय राम राजा राम 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 बोल राम 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 हे राम 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 बोल राम 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 सीता राम 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 बोल राम 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 प्रभु राम 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 बोलो राम 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 प्रभु राम 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 बोलो राम 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 जय जय राम 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 बोलो राम 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 बोलो राम राम श्री राम 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 दशरथ नंदन राम हे अयोध्या श्री राम 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 दशरथ नंदन राम पतित पावन जानकी जीवन सीता मोहन राम हे पतित If we wish to move forward, then he blesses with the gift of the voice to chant his name, and not because when we chant his name it makes him feel happy. As when people praise us, we feel good. God is beyond that. God is beyond that. We need to remember this, devotees. God has no caste. God has no religion. 
God has no nothing of these things that we place labels upon each other. God is beyond Ramanant Anangunani Adi Madhyanta Hinaya Nirgunaya Gunatmani. That which has no beginning, no middle, no end. How can you describe it? How? But all we need to do is follow what he said. We should bow our heads in sincere prayer and seek his blessing, guidance, help, and protection. And so, devotees, it is said if your life is not going the way you would like it to go, it is full of obstacles and pains and sadness, etc. Then to use a word rhyming with Ram, if you want your life to become full of charm, then what do you chant? Ram, 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 Bolo, Ram, 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 Hey, Ram, 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 Bolo, Ram, 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 Jai, Jai, Ram, 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 If a lot of harm is coming your way, causing you sleeplessness and so much more misery, then if the darkness comes, do you curse the darkness or do you light a lamp? So when those moments come and they're causing you harm, what should you chant? Ram, 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 Bolo, Ram, Ram, Ram. Jai Jai Ram 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 Bol Ram 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 Sita Ram 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 Bol Ram 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 Raja Ram 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 Bol Ram 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 Hare Ram 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 Bol Ram 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 Ayodhya Vasi Ram 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 Dashrath Nandan Ram Ayodhya Vasi Ram 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 Dashrath Nandan Ram Pati Tepavan Janaki Jeevan Sita Mohan Ram Pati Tepavan पावन जान के जीवन सीता मोहन राम प्रेम से बोले श्री प्रभु राम चंद्र की विवोधीज I want to pause here for a while to share very important information based upon scripture श्री राम so it fit to mention that what is it that drives the chariot? Every vehicle has a driver. And the vehicle can only go so far and safely based upon, yeah, the condition of the vehicle, but more importantly, the driver. And devotees, what is it that drives us towards God? Many things, but Sri Ram is saying, the chanting of bhajans, music. And now, I'm going to share this with you. Devotees, in Hinduism, there's what we call Nad Brahm. It will take a little while, but this is good to know also. Nad Brahm, meaning the world is vibratory by nature. Everything vibrates at some frequency, different frequencies. So right away we see that this world is filled with spiritual energy. I will go quickly, devotees. There are three kinds of songs. Vaikari Madhyama Pashyanti. What is this? Vaikari is what you can hear. It's audible. Use, use of the voice. Madhyama is from the mind. You know what you're saying, but others don't know. Let it go read your mind. Make sense? And there's Pashyanti, that which comes from the heart. It's a subtle sound also coming from the navel. Devotees, let me move on. 
And when the songs are made, that by itself is music. But let's spend a little while on the music itself now. When music is played, and I'm speaking of not pang patang pang pang, I'm speaking of good music, uplifting music, and I'll show you the research in a while. The vote it purifies the nadis or the channels, the energy channels within us. There's 72,000 of them. So when somebody says, Lord Krishna has 72,000 wives, send him one time. He needs to go to hell, wherever that is. He's talking out of ignorance, and that's what's happening in our religion. Many who are least qualified to talk feel they're most qualified. And we who don't know, we buy it lock, stock, and barrel, or become confused, corrupted, and converted. Devotees, there's always a logical explanation for it. So, devotees, what it does, Nadi Shuddhi, it purifies those internal energy channels within us. Let's move on. There are three grantees or bonds or knots of ignorance. The Brahma, Vishnu, and Rudra, bhajan and kirtan music, it, it, it removes, it unloosens those knots and removes those knots of ignorance. Devotees, it awakens the kundalini, this, that serpentine power, the base of the spine, where the muladhar chakra is, the Ganesh Bhagwan. When that chakra is awakened, you hear Hanuman Baba, Ashta Siddhi now Nidhike Data Sabaridin Janki Mata. Man can materialize objects, man can fly, float, sink, or not sink but float. Man can, you know, um, tell the future, he can heal. Whatever he wants, because he had that spiritual power within himself. This is what music can do, devotees. I move on. It produces a kagra chitra, chit, which is chit should he. It makes our consciousness become elevated, so we don't think in a low, backward level. We think at a higher level. It destroys vastness and trishanas, which are desires and cravings of the heart, and those things that are pulling us back and causing us sleeplessness and so much more. Devotees, I'm going to give you some. Eh? It's a long, long list. I move on. There are many afflictions that music and singing can do because it produces. You see, words have connotation and denotation, and words have meaning. And devotees, the more positive it is, the more positive is the energy and the better you feel. With experience and as we live it, we'll see it, we'll experience it. Devotees, how are these benefits achieved? And here is where the science comes in now. Music soothes the brains and the nerves. It energizes the body and brings solace and comfort. It removes stress and depression. You want to know how to remove depression? Pressure, pressure, depression. Music removes depression. It calms the brain. It calms the nerves. It energizes the body. It brings solace and comfort. It removes stress and depression and tension. And you know now there's a thing called music therapy. Lie down, play Hanuman Chalisa, and just listen to it in silence. Lie down, you can't sleep, play flute music. Flute, sitar, and see what it does to you. Lie down, you can't sleep, you're tossing and turning, recite Hanuman Chalisa too. This is what our sages have given to us. Now, they are vital centers in the subtle body. We have the gross body, the subtle body, and the causal body. We can't go into that, devotees. And we have three eyes, we have three bodies. So not only the physical body, now we go to the subtle body. What it does, these vital centers in the subtle body, they vibrate and they produce certain astral songs leading to the manifesting, manifesting of these spiritual powers within you. And so they enable you to have greater control over your mind, your body, and your senses, and should elevate your consciousness. Music produces, hear the word again, music produces endorphins, or uh, hormones that make us feel good. Devotees, 
I am just rushing it through. You may not remember everything, but at the end of the day, say, you know what, boy? I hear a man talk about music and music good. So I'm going to join the music class next week or this week. That's all. Devotees, I move on to one or two other points. If music is so beneficial, what kind of music are we talking about? Not carnival music, not chutney music. Because that is tend to excite you. We're talking about music that makes you relax. And don't tell me when you hear this thing, you're relaxing. Eh? If you're relaxing, well, maybe you have something else in your head, on your hand. I don't know. Devotees, what is it being said? What is being said again? You mentioned sitar and you mentioned flute. There's an individual called Pandit Ravi Shankar. You may have heard about him. A sitarist, the world renowned sitarist. He played with the Beatles and so on. And devotees, he was once playing to a group of plants. And those plants began to blossom and flourish with the music that he was playing. They became healthier and whatever else. Then they asked him to stop. And they brought a hard rock band, Papa. Hard rock. And when the hard rock started to play, all the plants shriveled and withered. And I ain't talking on Nancy thing for you. These are the facts based on research by those who know doing music therapy. So when we hear this pong patang and we pong in we head and the children hearing that when they're going to school too, when they reach in school, they ain't ready for school. They're not ready, so you talk to them. What kind of vehicle are traveling in? What music is being played? And then we had to go into our home. What music are we playing in our house? Devotees, I can only say to you, my dear people. Now, it had been shown, and this is in America, a certain group of teenage students, they were fed loud music, music with lyrics that were less than desirable. And they all performed badly in school. Real bad. Music was played to cows that were giving milk. And the more soothing the music, the more milk the cow gave. So don't call no Baba and say, Baba, you come and give milk again. Baba had nothing to do with it. You want your feeding the cow, what kind of music you play in the cow? Hearing that too, you know? Yes. Cow is part of nature. The more soothing and more melodious the music, the more milk you'll get. And here's another very interesting bit of research. It's called lithotripsy. Lithotripsy. It is song the waves by the playing of music that break stones in the urinary tract. So even from that point of view, music is beneficial. Then, if you're getting further raise your hand, I will go on and I'll, we'll do some other time. Tell one or two again, if you don't mind. Huh? So now you say nothing. Go ahead. Okay, you're the coordinator, you know. <laughs> right. So there's another one, a bit of research. Aphasia rehabilitation. What is that? It's the inability to use or comprehend words if you suffer from a stroke or from dementia. Right? How? Singing relies mainly on the right hemisphere of the brain. Look at what these people are doing for our welfare and using our music. Singing relies mainly on the right hemisphere of the brain systems. And so it can bypass the injured left hemisphere, speech center, to help one to produce speech. And if you're doing a Ganesh Yag, I'll inform you of some, when you see the hole in the air, sun going up and down, bobbing and weaving, what that is all about, but that's for another time. Based on science, from all religion. Now people suffering from autism, spinal cord injuries, cerebral palsy, multiple sclerosis, they are using music therapy to cure these people. And devotees, now there are certain types According to a science magazine in 1973, 
They claim there are certain types of music that can improve our eyesight. And devotees, I really don't want to continue, but I have all the list here, and feel free, I can give it to you. By being captured on the film, so you could always ask the Baba and whoever it is. So therefore, when next time meet you, I say, but I hear you sing. Say, well, I can't sing. I'm a gear chopper, I don't know, but I'll be assault. You need to do that for yourself. We should all get involved in playing music and singing. If you're not doing that, you're lazy. Are you not? You don't have the information that I have. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So it's up to all of us. Up to all of us. You may not like the harmonium and the light tablet. You like tablet, well, majira. You like majira, well, dantal. If not, well, clap. No? Something. We can all create music. Even long ago, we had what we call it talk talk. You know what is that? We got two pieces of wood and you play it. It made beautiful sound. So devotees, Sri Ram is saying, Oh, Bibhishan, the charioteer is Ishwar Bhajan. He continues, Every fighter must have a shield to protect him. What is that shield? Vairagya, spiritual dispassion. Devotees, if you don't know how to give up, there are things which are detrimental and there are things which are developmental. Hold on to what is developmental and reject what is detrimental. And so by so doing, and what is Vairag? Vairag is Bhagwan Shankar, you know. And it is said you cannot achieve spiritual excellence unless you worship Lord Shiva, it's written in Ramayana. This is what they mean. I move on. Devotees, Santoshi Talwar, the sword. What is sword in this, of this warrior? Santosh contentment. Contentment. And it is beautifully said, there is enough for every man's need, but can never be enough for one man's greed. Remember primary school days? That animal is still there, golden, what, bread or, 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 or lime or something? He said, why should I wait one for one every day? Let me kill him and take all when he kill him again on. The dog with the rotten in his mouth, crossing the river. He saw another dog, thinking another dog. He said, look, let me dive after him. He'll get two roti. When he opened more than dive, he lost all again, none. That's greed. That's what we're talking about, devotees. Here, Sri Ram knows what he's saying. Then the warrior should have an axe. Where the axe? Down. The axe will cut down. You say, take the axe of charity and cut down the tree of poverty. If things not going well, another very quick thing you need to do besides glorifying God, start becoming more charitable. And by giving, it doesn't only mean money, it doesn't only mean clothes, it doesn't only mean advice, it could be books, school opening just now, pens, pencils, book bags, it could be blood, it could be an organ. We spoke about that previously. There are so many ways we can give. Everybody could give something. Devotees, Buddhi Prachandhai, he needs a spear. He could stay here and throw the spear and it pierces the air and hits the target. What is the pierce, the, 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 all the ignorance and all the, the things that are clouding your thoughts? Buddhi, intelligence. We must always use intelligence. And if we use our intelligence, devotees, people won't fool us. And up to now here, I didn't know he was Sona. I didn't, he didn't look so and he didn't talk so. And he and so, but he robbed you. So why, why you allow that? Don't let it happen. And then, the bow. What is bow? Vigyan Katin Dhanushai. Devotees. Knowledge of the self. There is parbhakti, a parbhakti. So devotees are serious, serious situation. We need to bear this in mind. I come now to the last Chaupai, followed by Doha, in this chariot of victory. Sri Ram is saying, O Bibhishan, Sunu. Sangyama niyama shile mokhaina na Amalaya chala mana tunaye samana Abacha bheda ye bipra pade pooja Bipra pade pooja 
कब चय भे राम कब चय भे दे प्रपद पूजा एह साम विजय राम एह साम विजय गोपाल दो जाय जय राम श्री राम श्री राम जय सखा धर्म मैय आस रथ जाके सखा धर्म मैं आस रथ जाके जीतन कह राम जीतन कहन कत हो रे पोता के कत हो रे पोता के जय राम श्री राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम ही से संयम नियम ही बान है निर्मल मन ही तर्कश है और ब्राह्मण गुरु के चरणों का पूजन हो अभेद कवच है इसके समान विजय का अन्य कोई उपाय नहीं विभीषण जिसके पास धर्म में ऐसा रथ है उसके कोई जीत नहीं सकता इसे संयम नियम इन लाइफ देर सर्टन रिस्ट्रेंट्स एंड देर सर्टन ऑब्जर्वेंसेज एंड इट्स अ होल लॉन्ग लिस्ट आई विल नॉट गोइंग टू दैट इट इज वॉट वी कॉल इन हिंदुइजम अवर कोर ऑफ कंडक्ट and every occupation every organization every profession has what is called the code of conduct which guide the behavior of people if not devotees we chaos and madness so so to in our religion we have the code of conduct another time i'll enumerate all of them for you but they are called the restraints and the observances the thing we shouldn't do and the thing we should do that forms the armor and when a man does that he is good he's solid like a rock nobody could bore hole in you they'll try but they will fail be a man of good conduct then nirmal man a pure heart and then the tarkas brahman ke charan mein poojan hi abhed kavach hai honor and worship the gurus and the holy ones o bibhishan this is the chariot of victory there is no other way for a man to be successful so i have explained to you now he says in the doha maha khor sansar ripu jeet sake so bir ja ke yasrat ho yad dhar सुन हो सखा मति धीर सिया पति राम चंद्र के जय शरण हे धैर्यवान मित्र जिसके पास ऐसा दृढ़ रथी वही वीर महाभयंकर संसार रूपी शत्रु को जीत सकता है माई डियर विभीषण आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू नाउ एनी वन हु प्रैक्टिस दीज will be successful so devotees i will end with this point where he mentions the armor that protects us from assault from attack and we are being attacked in many ways our religion our culture our temples murtis are being stolen and broken we know that negative comments are being made about you name every aspect of hinduism i will just give one or two quick examples i mentioned a previous night they mentioned monkey face elephant what 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 i will not going to that again devotees when our ancestors came their religion was mocked and all sorts of hardship they endured one of the most popular one is parasar is devil food and i'll tell you what i did well when i say me i mean a few of us we got the entire school to come in the hall because there was this 
thought that parasite is devil food. I go eat the food, but I won't eat the parasite. That's fine. Or it's not so fine. We got all the ingredients, and hear me carefully, you could try it in your place wherever you do. We got all the ingredients. So I picked up the flower. I said, where is this by? Students, they say, flower. Good. We cut it in with the ghee. What is this? Well, some can't say ghee. They say ghee. But whatever they say, they understand. Right. We got the sugar. We got the raisin. We got the pot. We got the fire. We got the stove. I said, all right. What are we throwing in the pot now? Flour, so. What are we putting now? Ghee. Well, I mean, I know the order. I just say, it's not going to make parasites, so, eh? I just say, <laughs> I just tell you how I understand just for understanding sake. I remember I come out like, where you come out like, lagly? I don't know. So whatever it is, we call it and we put it in the pot. And said, okay, let's turn it now. Gore, gore, well turning it. And then when it was finished, we said, okay, line up, everybody getting a little touch. Then no long ago when you had a school garden and you plant topi tambo and so on. You don't eat all, you line up everybody and give everybody one cell or whatever it might be. That was, those were great days, eh? So, at least they saw what we were doing. They had no objection to getting a little bit in their hand. And I said, taste it. Well, who do like sweet things? Who do like, especially children? They loved it, and they said, so give you some more now. I said, wait, what is this called? What is it called? They all say parasad. I say, yeah, is it called devil food? No. Is there any devil in it? Was there any devil? Did you only devil? You touch the devil? You lick the devil? No, it's parasad. Then they realize they were being misled by others. And there's a lot more you could say. Because that's my feel. I love it too bad. To clear, clarify these doubts. Because we deal with young people continuously. And we know what the challenges are. And we're there to help them. So devotees, there's constant attack. So what are we supposed to do? Sri Ram is saying, be a person of character. And there's an, a little story, I will end with this. There was a shopkeeper who had a little parlor, and he would sell and talk and laugh, and those days were really wonderful days too. So one Saturday, this man came and started to talk with the shopkeeper. While talking and talking, devotees, some people came and he went to attend to them. When he was finished looking after those people and he came back, he saw the money draw open. So draw open, money gone and the man gone too. But you can't accuse him. You know how this will is if you have evidence and you have witness, you have no case. But God sees. So man gone, money gone, he felt hurt. Nobody likes to lose. I'm working hard and somebody thief him money, I don't know who it is. But who else could it be? But he can't point the at the man. Next man came, the man came, he said, nah, I don't watch you. I don't watch you. While they're talking and so on, people coming and so on, then he hear the wife bawling behind. Like something going wrong behind the house. Now I don't know how you'll behave if you hear your wife bawling. He said, let's see, she got some bawling man, let's see ball. Or you'll run quickly to see where it is. He heard her screaming and he didn't sound too nice. He not a nice scream. So he left everything. And he went to see what it was. When he was looking after her, he came back. Jaw open, money gone, man gone. So twice in two months. So who else could it be? He called his friend and said, listen, I need all the help. I need your help. And he explained what happened. And they came to the conclusion, it was every Saturday around 4 o'clock he would come. So he said, in next month, next Saturday, we're going to plan for him. So one under the counter, one behind the door. One lambing by the road and one plane coming to buy. So say while four o'clock the man came, so everybody on the alert now. Uh-huh. Let's watch. And devotees conversation started, other people came, he went to attend to them. And just what he used to do for the last two Saturdays, he stretched his hand and this time the fellow under the counter held his hand. The one behind the dog grabbing by the neck. Well, uh, let me don't talk about that. Or let's see enough for that. But I gotta ask you a simple question, you know. If you catch a thief, I don't think you're gonna tell him sit down. If you tell him sit down, you deserve a medal. You deserve an award. I gonna recommend you for one. 
When they catch him, but you decide what you're going to do. I can't really kill anybody. Eh? But they should be taught a lesson. They should be taught a lesson. Certainly if I wrong tell me, no. Right. So when they held him, devotees, I don't have to tell you what they did to him. And he confessed. Devotees, they gave him good. And they came before the king. So they say, Maharaj, we catch another chore now, Mahachor. He not petty thief, he's a big thief. We catch him. When the king looked at him, he saw bruise and all kind of blood and whatever, whatever. So when he watched closely, he said, wait now, man. This man is a, a very important man in my kingdom. Because this fellow who was doing this was set up by the king to do this, to teach a lesson. He was rich. He was educated. He was a man well-loved and well-known in the community. So he had education, he had wealth, and he had character. But he was told to do this because he himself didn't know why people respect him. Do you know why people respect you? It's an interesting thing, eh? Did they respect him because of his money, because of his education, or because of his character? He didn't know, so he was told by King and Guru, he go and do this. And so when he was brought, when the king looked carefully, he saw this man. And he said, why did you do this? He said, Maharaj, I didn't know why people looked up to me. Whether it was my money, my education, or my character. But now I have the answer. Where's the answer? He said, well, hear what? I still have my education. I still have my money, but in the eyes of the people, I have no character that would have beat me up. So therefore, character is more important. Now, I have to be careful. Eh? Don't mistake what I'm saying or misjudge. Character is more important than money and education because there are many educated crooks. There are many wealthy crooks. The world needs more people of character. And there's a saying, when wealth is lost, something is lost. When health is lost, a lot is lost. But when character is lost, some nash jai, all gone. All gone. And our scriptures preach continuously about good character. So all of us have to watch who we associate with. All of us. Go for the people with character. And if not, we'll hold our head and ball, and even Tarzan can ball so. I'm telling you, devotees, so I can go on and on and on. I can give you training. I can give you guidance. I can give you advice, but I can't give you integrity. You have to build that. You have to work for that. So this is what Sri Ram is saying. Ram and Ravan, same R, R for Ram, R for Ravan, call it same Rasi. One was, you know what he was, I know what Sri Ram was. Sri Ram won, Ravan was destroyed. So that's why they say, Bolo Raja Ram Chan Ki, and the mother poor demons in Ravan Ki Jai. They know. The devotees, the lesson is clear for you and I. Bole Sri Sita Ram Chandra Ki. We'll have to go straight to reality at this point. I won't finish, right? So we want to say, sab koi khara ho jai. Blessings to Pandit Satyam, Kesho Maharaj, also the young man Sandeep. We have Pandit Varish, Pandit Vinayak. We have the group that sings continuously each night. And now they're going to join with us in singing in the Arti. So join with them, Rama in Arti.
of victory God wants us to be successes victors and not failures pray for yourselves your near and dear ones pray for God's blessings guidance help and protection and work for it it shall be yours we join in closing prayer O Mangalam Bhagwan Vishnu Mangalam Garu Dvajam Mangalam Pundari Kaksha Mangalayatano Hari O Mavahanam Na Janami Na Janami Visarjanam Poojam Chayeva Na Janami Chambatam Parmeshwara Tvameva Matai Chapitai Tvameva Tvameva Bandho Chasakha Tvameva Tvameva Vidya Dravinam Tvameva Tvameva Saravam Mamareva Deva Om Shanti 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 प्रेम से बोले श्री सीता राम चंद्र की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन सुत हनुमान की जय आठ शक्ति स्वाहा माता की जय उरई सा जगरनाथ की जय बोलो भाई सब संतन की जय बोले श्री गुरु महाराज की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की शुभ मस्तु कल्याण मस्तु आपको सीता राम on behalf of the Satya Drishti Spiritual and Sporting Group, I would like to thank our Vyas, Pandit Balram Prasad, for taking us through the journey of the pages of the Holy Ramayan. Special thanks to our Bedi Pandit, Pandit Satya Maharaj, for conducting the Bedi Puja. And a special thanks to you, the devotees, for joining us tonight in worship to Sri Ram.